And finally, to our special segment, Resurgent Africa. Amid the coups and the crises, there are many positive stories from Africa that often get overlooked, but not on this show. Our story today is from West Africa. Ivory Coast has declared war on one of its biggest enemies, malaria. The mosquito-borne disease is the number one killer of children in the country. But Ivory Coast says this must end now. The nation has ushered a new era in malaria control with a new three-dose vaccine. The World Health Organization says this vaccine would guarantee that children in Ivory Coast reach adulthood in good health. Our final report gets you the details about this ambitious immunization program. Malaria, a disease that kills over half a million people every year and mostly targets toddlers and pregnant women. It's one of Africa's top killers. The mosquito-borne infection has especially threatened the West African nation of Ivory Coast for decades. It's the leading cause of death of children in the country. And Ivory Coast has been failing to fight the deadly scourge. But the battle against the old enemy has finally taken the right turn. Last week, babies in the Abidjan city began receiving the R21 malaria vaccine as Ivory Coast became the first country to deploy the immunization. It's really important for the children, for their health especially. This is why we came here this morning to vaccinate our children. The shot has been developed by the world's largest vaccine maker, the Serum Institute of India and the University of Oxford in England. The three-dose vaccine was authorized by the World Health Organization last October. The Oxford University says that the vaccine has efficacy levels of around 75 to 80 percent in young children and it costs less than four dollars per dose, making it realistic to roll out tens of millions of shots. Meanwhile, the Serum Institute says it has already made 25 million doses for now and plans to make at least 100 million every year. Now, Ivory Coast aims to vaccinate around 250,000 children who are under the age of two. This decision shows the engagement of the government, who make it a point of honor to invest in the health of our children, our most precious treasures. We want to assure their protection and their well-being, because they are the future of our country. Meanwhile, the World Health Organization believes that the vaccine against malaria would guarantee that children in the West African nation will reach adulthood in good health. Vaccine will guarantee without any doubt that our children will survive not just past their first birthday, but will from now on reach adulthood in good health, thanks to this innovative intervention against malaria in Ivory Coast. The Ivory Coast is not the only country to roll out the R21 vaccine. In a historic move, South Sudan also began the immunization campaign with the same vaccine last week. The country's health ministry says that the R21 vaccine will reduce the devastating burden of malaria and save countless young lives in South Sudan. Meanwhile, Ghana, Nigeria, Burkina Faso and the Central African Republic have all authorized the vaccine as well. The R21 vaccine will be given alongside the RTSS vaccine that is already being used in countries like Ghana, Kenya and Malawi to cover 2 million children over a four-year pilot program. The United Nations says the RTSS vaccine has already reduced the mortality rate by 13%. Malaria is one of the most neglected diseases that is preventable and curable. The African continent bears 95% of malaria deaths annually. And children under the age of 5 account for at least 80% of all malaria deaths across Africa. In the next six years, the World Health Organization aims to reduce these deaths by 90% in 35 African countries. And now with the efficient malaria vaccine, alongside other prevention strategies like mosquito nets, WHO's ambitious goal that once drew skepticism suddenly looks more achievable. Across continents, one powerful news source. bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter.
We go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment. So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We're counting on your support and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished. Climate change is on our doorstep. It's time for a revolution to take root. And it starts with 1.4 billion Indians. It starts with one tree. One tree for humanity. One tree for Mother Earth. One tree for our future. Project One Tree. A News 18 Network initiative. On the fifth day, the 2020 World Cup run by the Indians moved across to the West Indies. What can you expect? Hello, I'm Alice Green, coming to you from Durban, South Africa. Today we have a special show. Start with a report on India's sister nuclear costs. Hello and welcome to First Post America. I'm Eric Ham, coming to you live from the nation's capital. 